Yeah, what we have here is a situation where two French doctors are publicly, without any shame, discussing how they are going to be testing vaccines on Africans. Now, to get that kind of boldness in this 2020, to actually discuss this kind of diabolical ideas, there is some kind of mentality, some kind of ideology that these people embody in order to get the boldness to do what they do. Now, we need to go further into some of the history of the exploitation of black people in Africa. Because black people in Africa have been exploited for a long time by many countries, including France, which has emboldened them to the extent that their leaders still believe that they have a God-given right to continue the exploitation and the disrespect that they display towards Africa. Now, one of the um, institutions um, that gave them that mentality that Africa is their playground is what you call the Berlin Conference of 1884. Now, that Berlin Conference, it was essentially a conference where European countries and the United States met in Berlin to agree, that is, to agree to the rules on how they're going to divide Africa. They're going to divide it. And, they, and some of the countries that were involved were France, um, Britain, Belgium, and others. So these European countries, they met in Berlin, sat on a table to discuss how they're just going to go into a sovereign country, into a sovereign um, continent, and to just divide the land and just take spoils, do what they want. Now, when someone comes to your land to divide your land and to exploit your people and the resources that you have, that means that that individual or that country have no respect for you. And that disrespect has continued even until now. Imagine two doctors who are supposed to be looking out for the lives of people, to save lives, to care for sick people. They are talking openly with no shame about testing vaccine on African people. As if African people are lab rats, you know, like people conduct experiments. They try their things on rats first and then later on they go on humans. But these people have been thinking that Africa is a place that they could just come and just test their things on the people that live in the place. Just test their thing on black people. Just take a listen to what these guys have to say. Si je peux être provocateur, est-ce qu'on ne devrait pas faire cette étude en Afrique où il n'y a pas de masque, pas de traitement pas de réanimation, un peu comme c'est fait d'ailleurs pour certains, certaines études dans le sida, où chez les prostituées, on essaye des choses parce qu'on sait qu'elles font, elles sont hautement exposées et elles se protègent pas. Est-ce que, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez Alors vous avez raison, et d'ailleurs on est en train de réfléchir en parallèle à une étude en Afrique justement pour pour faire ce même type d'approche avec le BCG, un placebo. Euh, je pense qu'il y a un appel d'offres qui est sorti, il va sortir, et je pense qu'on va en effet euh, euh, sérieusement réfléchir. But thank God, 
the head of the World Health Organization, he took a stand and he said, never. He said, never will is he, never is he going to allow these guys to come and test their vaccines in Africa. So take a listen again to what the head of the World Health Organization had to say on that matter. Uh, then on the vaccines issue, uh, there was, um, I think, a comment last week from uh, some uh, couple of scientists uh, who said the testing ground for the new vaccines will be Africa. Uh, to be honest, I was so appalled. And it was um, a time when I said, when we needed solidarity, this kind of racist remarks actually would not help. It goes against the solidarity. Africa cannot and will not be a testing ground for any vaccine. We will follow all the rules to test any vaccine or therapeutics all over the world using exactly the same rule. Whether it's in Europe, Africa, or wherever, we will use the same protocol, and if there is a need to be tested elsewhere, to treat human beings the same way, equally. And the hangover from a colonial mentality has to stop. Now, that, that type of blatant um, disrespect for the people of Africa in France, especially with the display of these doctors, it actually starts from the top because the president of France have been disrespecting the people of Africa for a while now. This man believed that he is like he owns um, that territory and that he can come or he can come and just tell people what they want. One of the things that he really is against, he, he has a problem with um, the population of Africa. He has a problem with um, black, ha black African women having children. And it is something that he's been complaining. So you live in France. Why does the president of France have to worry about black women in Africa having too many children? What does that have to do with the president of France? I mean, 63% of non-educated adults today are women. That's the deep roots of the, the gender inequalities. One of the critical issues we have regarding the African demography is the fact that this is not a chosen fertility. I always say, please present me the lady who decided being perfectly educated to have seven, eight, nine children. Please present me the young girl we decided to leave school at 10 in order to be married at 12. And this is not teaching African people from New York. This is a pure bullshit to say that. A lot of African leaders today now dare to have this kind of speech. This is just because a lot of girls were not properly educated. Because people de facto in these countries, but here as well, decided that the rights of these girls were not exactly the same as the rights of the young man, which is unacceptable. I'm fine with a lady having seven, eight children if this is her choice after education. Anyway, what can we conclude from that or what I believe we should conclude from that is we have to be very careful as tropical people, people from Africa, the Caribbean, uh, Latin America, 
we have to be very careful where we buy our food from where we import our foods from we have to be very careful where we import our medicines from we have to be very careful in the tropics where we get our wines from along with some of the other products that we use we have to be very careful where we import our food and our beverages our medication from we have to be extremely careful